Hey guys, and welcome to this series of videos. We will talk about IBM Maximum Asset Management System. So it's a product from IBM that helps us to track our asset from maintenance to inventory to procurement to everything dealing with this asset. Uh, let's so so let's see our agenda for today maximum overview and also we'll talk about components of maximum and modules and also applications of this system okay so uh, IBM maximum is considered a computerized maintenance system so we manage our assets from a system okay provide us asset management where this asset locate asset uh, from assets and applications in the build and also work management related to these assets from work order to job plan to preventive maintenance to predictive maintenance etc all things related to work management and also material management from item master to inventory list to all of these things related to inventory and also purchasing capabilities okay from br to rfq to po to create our invoice and all of this help companies to maximize productivity and extend the life of their revenue generation so maximum store and maintains data about company assets and facilities and inventory okay so you can use this information to help you schedule maintenance work Track asset status, manage inventory and resources, and analyze costs. All of this helps companies to improve the availability and performance of their revenue generating, and also decreasing operating costs without increasing safety issues. All of this from one system. It's called IBM Maximum Asset Management is a standalone system. So, what is the component of this system? Maximum installation consists of several components that work together. First, relation database. Maybe it be a DB2 or SQL Server or Oracle. The main core of Maximum is the database okay and also application server software like WebSphere or WebLogic and, and maximum software itself which includes system administration application for initial setup configuration and security workflow etc and also in user applications for tracking asset itself and asset management and also Actuate robots software. It's an older version. Now there is a bird and Cognos tools. This is the main components of IBM Maxim. When, when we talk about Maxim, we talk about modules and applications. Maximum applications are grouped into modules. An application in a module have similar purpose. Every application in a, in a module have similar purpose. For example, applications related to purchasing are grouped together. Applications related to work order grouped together. Related to asset grouped also together, and so on. Some applications such as work order tracking function individual, while others such as Precautions create the order design 
to be used in connection in connection with records created in other applications. Okay. So there is standalone applications and also applications related to each other. Okay, like purchasing and inventory, they are related to each other. When the item is decreased the inventory, you need to get to make an a reorder. Okay, so we create BR. So the two applications are conjunctions with each other. So depending on your job description and security permissions, you are privileged. You may have access to some or all of the maximum modules and applications. Depends on your security privilege. These are examples of modules and application. So the module is asset management. Okay, condition monitoring. This, this all under module called asset management. Okay. These applications called assets, condition monitoring, figure codes, locations, meters, meter group. All this application under asset module. And also planning module contains job plans, application, routes, safety plans, everything related to planning. And also module like inventory, it contains all these applications from uh, uh, condition codes, inventory, issue transfer, item master, service item stock, store room tools, etc. And the main module we own working on it. It's a work orders module. It contains these applications, assignment manager, labor reporting, service requests, quick reporting, work order tracking, all of these applications related to work orders. We will talk in detail about every application, every module in the system. Okay, next it. In the next series, inshallah. Okay, thank you guys for today. Uh, this is my email. Feel free to ask me anything at any time. Okay, thank you.